Hello everybody, welcome to Punched Out Thursdays. I am really sorry this video is going up so late, but I couldn't decide on what paper I wanted to use. So, I am using the Pretty Little Studios Potpourri line, and I am scrapbooking pictures of Lily taking a bath. So, I will be using a heart punch and my flower punch and the circle punch and I'm making these little flowers and um, I'm going to use that tag punch too and I dug out of my um, my cut files and I'm using this Christmas wreath and I just thought I would put flowers on it instead of the hollies and stuff so um, I'm going to go ahead and do mixed media on my paper. I already just sewed it. And I am using the, um, the picked raspberry first. Or is that the purple? No, that one is the seedless preserves, I think. Yes. And then I'm going to be using twisted citron. And I... I didn't really like how the green turned out kind of yellow. Um, it just didn't really go. So it kind of looks like more of a yellowish color. So then I used the spiced marmalade. And that I just kind of did it over the green a little bit. So... This and then here comes the twisted citron. So I'm going to try it again and just see if it. I'm I think I'm gonna have to shop for a different green. Um, and then I will use the picked raspberry. So I bring all those colors in because they are in those papers from Pretty Little Studio. So, then I paused it and I punched out all of the stuff and I also pulled out the ephemera pack from Pretty Little Studio and I'm using the frog and the umbrella. And um, here I'm tearing the paper to give it kind of like a distressed look. And then I grabbed some green um, Echo Park solid paper to bring out the green that's in Lily's bathtub. And then I glue this on and then um, I get all of the um, flowers. I go ahead and put all of them together and... Um, well, I guess I glue my uh, photos down first and then glue, find out where I'm going to put um, my photos first and then I will piece together the flowers. I hope you have enjoyed all of these uh, videos using your punches and you can really embellish a whole page using your punches like I did and I did fussy cut the leaves out just to give it some um, little dimension so I want to use that tag to kind of tone down the mixed media and then I um, punched out the hearts and I think I will put one in like a triangle and then here's where I bring in the frog and I know um, frog is for outside but it was just so cute and she looks like a little frog swimming in the bathtub there so I wanted to add that with the umbrella and then I thought about stitching the hearts but then I decided not to maybe on a different layout I will try that um, here I'm adding some raindrops kind of 
all over the page. And I think um, after I get done gluing the raindrops, I uh, get out some twine and I put it in my tag. And okay, see I forgot what I was doing. I am trying to find a title and I love these from Pink Fresh from Joyful Day. And I was going to use Beautiful, but it just kind of, you couldn't hardly see it and... So I put that back and I go with a door. Yeah, I like that. So my page is pretty busy all the way around with all of the punches. And then I stop to put some twine in. I think that's the only black I have on my page except for those little circles that have little pieces of black. So, okay, and then I forgot and I want to use my tag punch. So I pulled this three by four card and it says new routine. So I tried to decide where to put it and I ended up putting it underneath the door. So I hope you all enjoyed this week's video and I will see you next week with more punches. So you all have a wonderful day and thank you for watching and commenting. It really makes my day. Thank you. Bye-bye.